Hi, this is DOSBox Mom. Hello. <laughs> and a sleepy Lost in <laughs> Blue. And right. welcome back to the long game of King of Dragon Pass. I'm in Dragon Pass? Yeah. Awesome. And at the very end of the last episode, the horse spawn surrounded our new town and we proposed marriage Between with our tribal queen <laughs> yeah mr baldy here mrs baldy <laughs> what miss <laughs> baldy yeah and the feathered horse queen so now we must uh, we're going to send send a delegation to the wait. to the horse spawn in the next season Okay. Th there'll uh, be a there'll be an event for that. Okay. Uh, should we sacrifice for like any sort of blessing or anything? Like, is there anything that would help? Mm. Help horses? I don't know. Try a mall or something. See if he has anything that helps with courting horse women. ladies. Horse friend, shield, steadfast, sun. No, not really. <laughs> oh, Molly. We could build a temple. Sure. At least that, that won't do any harm. We are showing our love with the horses. We decided that we probably didn't absolutely have to raid this because fire season because we did help the Boscovi. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yana Starr, a carl of your clan, urges you to seek a bride for him. I know people say they find me hard to look at, but Is it a I have a good heart. I'm kind. I uphold all the Arlanthi virtues. Surely I deserve a good wife. Kill it. Kill it now. <laughs> Tell him to ask later when you're not so busy. Uh, seek a bride for him. Seek a bride for him. <laughs> I'll ask later. Use trickster magic. Oh, I might backfire. Refuse him. Or seek a bride, offering her clan a gift in addition to the bride price. Might be our only hope in this instance. Uh, offer a bit more if you want to get him a bride. Yeah. I. Whoever gets hitched to him is my infinite pity. Okay. Uh, maybe a clan that's allied with us. Yeah. Maybe the Paluski? Sure. You can try that. And... Well... We... Yeah, we need to... Done with it. Okay, you don't want to look just in case it fails horribly. Oh well, look, that guy's being scared. <laughs> well, okay, no one would marry him, and we off we were offering a hundred gifts in addition to the bride price. Oh, that was terrible. Humankind. I have faith do we want to? Do we want to restore that? No. Or, no. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Maybe we should trade for food, though. Sure. Okay. Besides, it's a small event in the long run. Sell so, trinkets by food. No one's going to remember the fact that we didn't get the very, very ugly man a bride. <sighs> yeah, somehow we got the dart. But that's because the dart is actually kind of cute in a weird way. Okay. What? Oh! Uh, it's time for Dagmar to lead a delegation to meet with the Feathered Horse Queen, where he will pursue his offer of marriage to the Horse Spawn Monarch. The entire clan ring goes with him to witness these negotiations, and if need be to defend their king. What is the first thing Dagmar does upon meeting the Feathered Horse Queen? Uh, promise to stop calling her people horse spawn? That would probably be a good idea. 
From now on, the feathered horse queen said, you must call us what we call ourselves, grazers. Okay. Uh, what does Dagmar try next? Uh, offer her gifts? Yeah, that's what you do when you're actually dating people. Lots of gifts. Lots of gifts, yes. We want this to work. We love you! Guys, we've got five million. The feathered horse queen graciously accepted Dagmar's gifts. She gave him a horse and a bracelet woven of horse hair in exchange. Um, do we want to remind her or just propose marriage? Uh, let's just propose marriage. The feathered horse queen says she'll sponsor a contest. In order to win the contest, Dagmar must pass three great tests of Earth. The test will be chosen by Ferena Bruceslayer, the high priestess of Moran Gore. The winner of the contest gets to marry her and become king of Dragon Pass. Dagmar will be one of several contestants. Except these Except two. that's... We drank a ritual toast with the grazers to ask for blessings on all of us. As the delegation leaves the grazer encampment, Dagmar meets the other contestants for the Hand of the Feathered Horse Queen. One is Varstapur, king of the northern Orlanthi kingdom of Tarsh. The other is Kormar, king of the local Torkani tribe. Aha, uh -huh, now I see who would also be king of Dragon Pass. Let's see, give them gifts, assure them of a fair contest, assure them of a fair contest, assure them of a fair contest, give them gifts. Or ignore them and go straight to the temple. Hmm. I'd say either one or four. Avastapur said, I make the same assurance, goodly King Dangmar. Kormar said, Your honorable friend Dangmar, such an assurance is redundant, for the good name of your clan is known throughout Dragon Pass. Yay! Oh my god! Accompanied by his clan ring, Dangmar proceeds to the hidden temple of Moran Gore, the goddess of earthquakes and the destroying earth. He requests an audience with this high priestess, Farina Bruceslayer. The terrified earth crone waddles from her high seat and looks Dangmar in the eye. The horse spawn have had a rebellion, and now revere earth above the sun. So I have agreed to act as the gatekeeper of Test instead of seeking to destroy them. But how do I know you're worthy to learn of the test? Perhaps you're weak or unwise and would be better off retiring to your tula to herd sheep. Um. Give her a treasure? Sure. So I'll give you a treasure. Um. Maybe the god bone? Yeah, I'm not, it, I'm not quite sure what it does. I don't think it does anything. It's so valuable. The crown said it was good to have a church, but that Dagmar still hadn't earned the full favor of the earth-shaking goddess. Uh, remind her of your good relations with the hidden temple. We have good relations with the hidden temple. We bought, we built a temple to Morangor. Okay. Something, at least a shrine. That's better than most people. Oh. Uh, Do you want to just give her gifts? Let's give her gifts first. <laughs> what? You just want to bribe everyone. And we're being pretty extravagant on the gifts. The crone seemed pleased with the gifts and said she would tell Dagmar what the tests were. First, said the crone, you must tame a dragon. Then, you must win the favor of the brass man. Finally, you must mate with a mountain and what? thereby win the blessing of the goddess Carafin. Wait, what? Mate with the mountain. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure everything will become clear oh in time. God. Our caravan's back for the Slapfoot Ducks. Okay. Yay. Good. So we got food. We could probably use more. Um, let's save. 
before we get into these tests. How is she supposed to make a mountain? Very carefully. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's buy food. Set another tr bunch to the Slapfoot Ducks. Trade for more food. Oh, uh, excuse me. Okay. Markalor, a Muscovy thing, comes to warn you that your alliance with his clan is in jeopardy. You're allied with too many clans, spreading yourselves so thin that the value of a pact with you is steadily waiting. How can we count on you for help in raids when we know you might have committed those warriors to help someone else? Uh, Let's see. End your alliance. Persuade Markalor. Three or four. Uh, let's Give him gifts. That's your answer to everything. Hey, if it works, it works. I'm waiting for the day when you can't buy people. Well, that might be coming up. And you'll run out of stuff? Maybe. Markalor said he would take the gifts back to his clan leaders who would take our generosity in consideration. Once he had gone, the Carls complained we'd given him too much. I agree. Stop giving people a hundred. <laughs> okay. You're going to run out of cows that way. Okay. Well, maybe we... If we have time in this game here, we might try to have another go at Aralda's Blessing, or at least um, Arnalda feeds the tribe and makes the cows healthy or something. I'd say Aralda's Blessing, yeah. If we can, Actually, especially if we can find an Araldan. Okay, maybe we should trade for cows this time? Yes, cows. Should we send him or send a different person? Send a different person. Make sure they're back. Okay. Uh, send Orange Hat. Or Miss Orange Hat, okay. Oh, we know it's not Mr. Orange Hat. Um, because she's got a girl's name? I Sell don't trade know. goods Dagmar and buy. Dagmar has a guy's name and we know. She's actually a woman. Who's got cows? Does anyone know? Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Why is our trickster knowing all the trading stuff? Because Asborn's still wet behind the ears when it comes to trading. Apparently, especially okay. running from a pack of wolves. Okay, we got more food. Too many hunters. So we'll cut back on the hunters. Okay. 21. Okay. Yeah, that's true. We did increase our pasture and... And uh, farmlands. Okay, Blue Jays needed all their cattle. Born Gold the Noisy, a wandering holy warrior of Arax, has decided that the herds of Varmond may be infected by chaotic brews. If he's right, the cattle certainly must be destroyed. Otherwise, they'll breed monsters. If he's wrong, however, you'll be losing valuable cattle for no good reason. Okay. Uh, Let's question him. him. After some questioning, we saw that Borngold had only poor evidence to back up his claim. Send him away. Or persuade him that he is mistaken. We showed him he was mistaken. Gruffly, he apologized for his error. Hopefully, he didn't turn out to be right. Maybe we should sacrifice to a rock to be certain. Sure. Rock protect us from chaos. Um. Smite chaos. Smite it. What? No, 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 no! That's not it. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. And don't give him fifty cows. Okay. Maybe just 
Six cows at a good. Smite. Smiting. Our sacrifice was favorably received. See, you don't need to give people five million <laughs> cows to get them to do what you want. Okay. Um, <coughs> do you uh, want to explore the tool or something? Let's uh, save first while we've got a chance, just in case the, the next test comes up soon. Uh, yeah, maybe just explore the Tula and maybe trade for more cows. Oh, no, now we need to Hero Quest. Or, or explore the Tula and then Hero Quest. Yes. Okay. This is what we're doing. Get to the agenda. <sighs> Gravel Runners! Cave Armadillos! Well, at least this is the first time we've run across them in this game. Um. Okay, have. Order our weapon things to exterminate them. Okay. They said the Carl should have been ordered to block the cave entrance. Many of them were wounded, but they said they killed them all. Okay, and. The Odile occultists say they'll perform a ritual to increase the availability of game in this area. Uh, except given reciprocal gifts, not 50. Okay. Or tell them you owe them a favor? Sure, go ahead. The Thanktus and Kind said the Hurlings, which many of them belong to, one day take us up on that favor. Okay. More game. And let's save again. And see if we can manage to hear. I think, didn't we get an omen that it was a good year to hero quest? I think so. Then I think we just need more cow. That's also true. So, quest, a world of blessing. Okay, well, at least she's a girl. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, gain a herd of cows. And that didn't work. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause this. Just in case we fail repeatedly, and we will keep trying this until we succeed. So hang on. Okay, well, we uh, kept retrying it or all this blessing. We ended up using an Arnalda devotee from our clan ring. Yeah, and, and we succeeded. So fat and happy cows. Now trust your goddess and go out and be cows again. And they did. Shut up and do as I say. Instared returned to the land of mortals. Her quest a successful one. Over the next few days, people from all over Dragon Pass brought us cows, thanking us for having performed the blessings of our older hero quest and bringing health and fertility to everyone's herds. Yay. So let's save that. I'm sure that first test in the courtship of Queen Grazer will be coming up shortly. What is that bright blue building? That bright blue building? Lower. Lower. And right there. That's our Asari's temple. That is a very garish blue. Actually, considering Asari's, it's... I mean, it's like probably the Orlanthe version of Neon Lights. Okay. We have babies, children as adults. More oh, people, fewer ki Yeah, we were gifting extravagantly. Stop. Well, we actually got one more horse. That's because you didn't give away any horses. And we ate more food than we produced, though. Rats. Yeah. Next harvest will be a good one. They heard whispers in a strange language, but couldn't make out the meaning. Um, put points on herds. Okay. All the cows we can get. Actually, the points are quite good. Everything, I think. Sure. Got a hot load of magic. Hunting. Maybe everything but mysteries? And have some left over. Yay! Let's go. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, what shall we do? What's 
remind me. What is the first test? Um, Tame a Dragon, I think. How are we supposed to do that? I never saw that movie, How to Train Your Dragon, so <laughs> I don't know. You could talk with the animals. There's a clan that knows how to do that. <laughs> I think wasn't the Ghost <laughs> That might be. Maybe if we give them presents, they'll teach us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Ask someone for some food. So maybe we should trade for food, too. We could give gifts to the brown boars. Okay. And we're not giving any hundred cattle this <laughs> time. Just the usual you little... You actually send a hundred cattle in one of these missions. Not in one of these. Thank God. Okay, now maybe trade for food. Maybe somebody other than a ring member. <laughs> or a cat. Yeah, sell trade goods, buy food. Just in case, um, we have to suddenly tame a dragon. Yeah. Kind of hard to do that on an empty stomach. Okay. The gifts would serve as repayment for a favor we'd owed the brown boars. Okay, great warriors of Humak, assemble in your clan hall to make you an offer. The lands around here are rife with the undead. It's our duty to Humak to wipe out these beings which are anathema to him. Give us permission to range about your tools, slaughter the unliving wherever they lurk. Um. Yeah, we don't want them mad. Go ahead. Okay. Don't give them 100. Okay. It's like 10, ten of each. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. ten. They praise us as an honorable clan. We found specters and ghouls everywhere. Put them to the sword. Well, we knew our lands were haunted. Had no idea how much danger our people were in. We were overjoyed that they vanquished the undead on our tour. Okay, and now it's fire season. Let's save. I want to save more frequently than usual because of that courtship thing that's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay. We still need to tame our dragons. True. We could do just a cattle raid since we've did a raid raid most recently. Maybe. Uh well we did skip last year, so Didn't we help the Boscovi with a raid? Yeah, but I don't think that really counted. Oh. Because it was a minor raid. So you think we should raid raid? Okay. Who are we angry at? Good question. Uh, check in your war screen. See what your people suggest. Uh, the Kadi owe us a favor. The Genesni are the weakest of the nearby clans. Alright, I have no problem in raiding them. But are they... Where are the I hope they're not in one of the tribes that we made a town with. Uh, Could we just do a cattle raid instead? That wouldn't make them as mad if, just in case they are. Fine. Okay. Do your cattle raid if you must. Uh, six brothers. Or the Genesne. Okay, we'll cattle raid the Genesne. 
And they spotted us. Um, skirmish. We don't have any treasures that would Yeah. Happen. We don't have any horses. Oh, use some magic. It worked. Uh huh. The Odila worshippers were successful. The hunting does seem to be excellent. And we got food. And the Genesti are offering tribute. Uh, Let's accept the tribute and vow to leave him alone. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we aren't going to raid them for the next two years. Actually, though, the weapon fans would be happy because since they spot us, our, what, our cow raid turned into a raid raid. Okay. So you made everyone happy. Good. Good job. Thank you. Okay. So, since that was successful, we saved that. And we will come back to the rest of Fire Season in the next episode and continue with the courtship of Queen Grazer. So we'll see you then. Bye!